Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. You may have had a hate-hate relationship with broccoli as a kid, but fresh-picked broccoli from the garden may even inspire the pickiest child. The part of the plant that you eat is actually the unopened flowers. Broccoli and its cousin cauliflower grow best in cool weather with daytime temperatures in the 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The best soil for broccoli is well-drained, fertile soil that's high in organic matter. Don't overfeed with nitrogen though because that can cause a disorder called hollow stem. Some compost and an organic vegetable fertilizer should be enough for your broccoli crop. Most all of the varieties of broccoli are good crops for spring and fall. If you're planting in the fall, you can just direct sow the seeds. If you're planting in the spring, start from transplants. Direct seed broccoli in midsummer for a fall crop. Plant the seeds about three inches apart and then thin to the final spacing when the seeds have their first true leaves. Seed broccoli in trays or soil blocks six to eight weeks before the last frost. For more information on growing starts, check out our video, Seedling Care. It's important to transplant broccoli at the right time. If you leave them in the trays too long, they won't mature properly. Transplant broccoli seedlings into the garden when they're four to six weeks old and have four to five true leaves. Space the transplants 12 to 20 inches apart. Wide spacing is good for one big broccoli head. And if you want smaller heads, just do shorter spacing. Consistent, even watering is important for broccoli. A drip system on a timer works really well. Mulch is going to help keep an even moisture. It will also discourage weeds, which can be troublesome for the broccoli's shallow root system. When growing broccoli, the biggest problems you have to watch out for are stress, aphids, club root, and several species of caterpillars. The biggest stressors for broccoli are improper watering and temperatures that can either be too hot or too cold. Those are probably the trickiest things about growing broccoli. Aphids can be dealt with by cleaning them off with a blast of water, adhesive traps, ladybugs, and as a last resort, an organic insecticide labeled to control aphids. You can avoid club root by practicing crop rotation. Don't plant any member of the brassica family in the same bed unless you've had four years of rotation. If you already have the club root pathogen, you can raise the pH to about 7.2 using oyster shell lime and that will help combat this disease. The caterpillars of several varieties of moth, such as the cabbage looper, will do damage to your broccoli. And the first line of defense is to put an insect barrier like this agrabon over the crop. In the case of caterpillars, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Releasing parasitic wasps, like the trichogramma wasp, can be helpful to control broccoli munching caterpillars. Another good control is the Safer Caterpillar Killer, and it's labeled to control cabbage loopers. It's made from Bacillus thuringiensis, a naturally occurring bacteria. Your broccoli is ready to harvest when the head is three to eight inches across and the individual buds are plump and still dark green. Cut the stem six inches below the head with a sharp knife. You can leave the plants in the ground and they'll likely send off some more side shoots. And you can harvest the leaves and eat them like kale. So grow some broccoli and grow organic for life. 